Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to cut a six piece blouse. I'll quickly show you the fabric I'm going to be using. I'm going to be using this beautiful Ankara. It comes to six yard. So I'm going to be using this lovely African print. I just need a little bit of um, black polycotton lining for the lining for the, just the waist. We need our scissors, measurement tape, a measurement and chalk. We also need our hip cuff ruler, our curve ruler. So these are the things I'm going to be using for the six pieces skirt. Stay tuned and I'll show you how to cut it. All right, let's start. The first thing we need to do is you need to times your hip by 2.5. If you have enough fabric, I'm using six yard of African print. So your hip times 2.5 will give you the amount of fabric you need. If you don't have enough fabric, you can times your hip by two. There's always different method of cutting six pieces skirt, but this is my own quick method. So what you do is, if you have enough fabric, you times your hip by 2.5, and then you know the amount of fabric you need. So once you cut the amount of fabric you need out, you fold the fabric into two, just like what I have done here. This is one here, this is one. One of this fabric has to be two inches longer than the other one. So the one that is two inches longer will be the back for the back panels. So this is the one that is two inches longer. So it's going to be for the back panel. So what I'll just do, I'll just divide it into, into two. your fabric correctly Okay, I've divided the fabric into two now. I'm just going to measure to see the one that's two inches more. I'm just checking to look for the one that's two inches more. Okay, this one is two inches small, so this will be for the back. Okay, so now what you do, the next thing is you have to fold your fabric into three equal parts. This part here is for the front. So you fold your fabric into three equal parts. I fold it. I start by folding one like this, then into two now. And then this is the third one, into three. You need to fold it into three equal parts. I 
as I said, there are different method of cutting six pieces skirt, but this is the thickest method I'm using. I'm using the quickest method of cutting six pieces skirt. So once you divide your fabric into three equal parts, you lay down the table. Okay, so now I'm going to divide these three equal parts. I'm going to cut one off. I'll cut one off at the edge. That one will be the middle piece. Now, so what you do is, you see, you take the middle piece, it's just a single one, you take the middle piece and you are going to fold it into two. You fold it into two. The length of the skirt is 41. This skirt is going to be having elastic waist it's going to be having elastic waist you can put a band in yours if you want but i'm going to be putting elastic on this one it's not going to be having a band on the waist okay so i'm going to start putting the measurements down at the end of the skirt so I'll start the length from there so it's 41 plus one and a half inches I'm also going to be adding two inches rather we had three inches for um, elastic at the top so I'll start by adding my one and a half inches first then I will add the three inches so 41 plus one and a half 
inches that will be 42 and a half 42 and a half plus 3 inches 45 and a half so the 3 inches is for the elastic so practically it's like the whole of this is what I need for the skirt so now we start I'm going to be using the hip measurement throughout I'm going to be using the hip measurement throughout because it's elastic waist so we start by taking down the first measurement is your waist to your knee waist to knee plus half an inch is sewing allowance You can see because the shock sometimes is a bit. So waist to knee plus half an inch is sewing allowance. And then from the top here, you are going to divide the hip divided by six. The hip divided by six plus one inches sewing allowance. And then you mark it down. And then you mark you mark it all the way to reach where the knee is. Mark it down to where the knee is, where the knee starts from. Okay, you can take your ruler and just draw it straight down. Don't forget the middle piece doesn't require a curve anywhere, it's just straight. Mark it to where the knee to where the knee stop, knee measurement stop. Okay, so from here, you start your flare from here all the way down. So we are going to start our flare from this point, from the knee, all the way down. But all you need to do is to take your ruler, position your ruler where the knee is. And you just draw a straight line all the way down to the end of the fabric. Okay, and then you cut it out. I say. I say for the middle piece, you just cut it out. so you can see it properly. That's the middle piece. So now we're going to take this middle piece and use it to cut the sides and fold it back. And then we'll take the, the other corners. So this is two pieces folded into two. It's folded into two. Okay, so that's what we are going to use to cut the sides. I 
and then we are going to fold it into two again if you find it a bit difficult instead of folding it into two again what you can do is you can open out the front one you can open out the front one and just place it on top it's another quick way of doing it as well you can open out the front one and place it on top but then you need to determine which part is going to curve in and which part is going to be joined into the middle so I'm going to show you the method I normally use I won't use this method so all I'm going to do now is I'm just going to fold the fabric into two again I fold it into two again Okay, so what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to cut it out. I'm going to cut it out, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to put one inches sewing allowance. I'll put one inches sewing allowance on this side if I cut it. If I cut it out. On whichever side, you can just put I just turn it around because I want the folded edge to be on both folded edge so I turn it around so I'm going to be putting one inches allowance rather I'll put two inches allowance then the one that is going to meet the center one I'm going to trim it down to one inches so I'm going to put two inches allowance starting from the top Just take your ruler and roll it across. The straight ruler is what you need. You just roll it to get the knee start. So the knee start here. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut it out. I'm going to cut it out now because from this point, from the knee point here, I'm just going to connect the same thing. I'm just going to draw a flare to the end. So the 
before we cut it out, before I cut it out, I'm going to minus one inches from this. I'm going to minus one inches from the knee point. Minus one inches from the knee point. I minus one inches in. This is the excess fabric here, so I minus one inches. Remember, I put two inches allowance from the top to here, but I'm, min I'm removing one inches from the knee point. So from that knee point, that's where I start the, the flare. From that point where I mark the one inches. I marked it all the way down. So from this point, I connect this one inches point to this two inches point here. Like so. I hope you can see what I'm doing. So I minus one inches from the knee point. My, I minus one inches from here. Because this is two inches. So I minus one inches in. So from this one inches point, I drew the flare out. Then from this one inches point, I connect it to the remaining two inches going towards the waist. So now I'm going to cut it out. I'm going to cut the, this. I'm going to cut. I'm going to cut it out. center back so this is how the side looks at the moment this is how the side is looking at the moment so what I'm going to do I'm going to use this part which I already marked with shock is what I'm going to use for the middle front it's going to join the middle front so what I'm going to do, I'm going to minus one inches from it. Remember I had it two inches from the waist. So I'm going to minus, I'm going to remove one inches. I just mark the one inches all the way to the knee point. And I just cut it straight. and place it because you want the curve to be the same you want the curve to be the same so when you are joining them together it's not like one curve is small is curved and the other one is straight so I put it like this. remember I opened, I opened it out this is the side I opened it out this side here is going to be the hip section on the knee here, I'm going to come in by one and a half inches. When I finish cutting this, now I'll show you that. So you just take your scissors and cut it out. Cut one inches off. This is going to join the. This is how we join the middle. That's it. So now the middle and this side is the same thing. Just join them together. They join together here. They join together here. So this point here, it's 
done in it so you can see it properly. This point here, this point here, I'm going to come in by one and a half inches. That is the knee section, the knee section over here. You can see me I'm touching, that's the knee section. So I'm going to come in by one and a half inches in order to get a nice curve in the knee. So you take a measurement, take, take your chalk and you mark in one and a half. You can mark one inches so when you are sewing it, when you are sewing it, you can sew the remaining half an inch away. So I'm going to mark one inches so you don't cut all your sewing allowance away. So I only mark one inches in. So from that one inches, I take my, my ruler and just connect it to the flare, just like so. Okay, you connect to the flare and then from here as well, you connect it to the hip, to the hip section. And then you take your ruler and curve it properly. And then you just cut this part out. So to give you the definition that you're looking for, this is, you will know this is the hip, the knee section that's supposed to be outward. And over here is the one that's going to be in the middle. So you just cut it out. from this side this one is more curved in so that makes you know this is the knee outward and this is the inward the front this is the front this will join together with the middle piece this is the outside one that will shape to get a nice shape flat six pieces shape so all you need to do is take this the same piece you take this the same piece Take your front panel and then you cut the back. This is the other fabric, the fabric that is two inches longer. This is the one. What you do, what you do is that you are going to also fold them in three equal parts, but one of them is going to be two inches longer. So when you fold it in three equal parts, make sure one of them is two inches longer. The one that is two inches longer is going to be your center back because you want to sew it like as if you are putting a zip. That's the best way to sew a skirt. Of course, you can sew it without putting a zip allowance because I'm putting elastic. But this is how I normally cut my six pieces. Even if I am putting elastic or putting rope or putting zip, I sew it this way. So one of them has to be two inches longer. The one that is two inches longer, as I say, that will be the middle central back, the middle back. So you fold them equally. But actually, in this case, you can fold them equally because one has to be two inches longer than the rest, than the other two. I'm just quickly folding it. See if I can show you. Okay guys, you can see that you can iron it so it's smoother, iron it so it's smoother, okay? 
You can see this one is two inches longer. So this will be your central bag. If you want to put a zip, this will be the one that have the zip. Can you see it now? This is the one that's going to be in the middle. I'm just going to cut it out, so I'll show you. Okay, I've divided it now, so I remove this one. This one will be the sides. And this will be your central back. So right side to right side. Right side to right side. fabric so it's straight it's not squeezed or anything like that so what you do now you take the you take the front which is the middle piece you take the middle piece this is the middle piece remember you place it like so giving two inches allowance two inches allowance make sure you fold it correctly So this is the back panel I'm showing you now. So make sure it gets folded and you place it correctly. You can iron it just to make it look more smooth and straight. So you don't make any mistake when you are cutting it out. So two inches, this is a two inches allowance for the zip. You see it? I can even fold in so you can see the two inches. So that is the two inches that we left to in case you want to put a zip in the back. You can choose to put a zip, but I'm going to put elastic. You can put rope as well. So all you need to do now is just cut it out and cut the zip section open. And then all I need to do is to cut the zip section open. That's the back. You see, it's two piece. So this part here is the zip section, and this here we join the side. So that's the back. So the same thing you do with the side. In this case, in the side, instead of folding the fabric into into two again you can just place the side on it because already i've done all the um cutting and everything on the front side already all the shaping everything i've already done it on the, on the front side so all you need to do in this one you just place the front open it flat like this it's two in here it's folded into two you don't make mistake Right side to right side, the fabric is folded into two. Iron it so the fabric is not squeezed. And just take the side front 
You can mark it so you know it's the side front. You just mark it with a shock so you know it's the side front. Okay, and then you can mark this one as the back. Mark the other side when you turn it around. So you open the fabric up like this, and then you just place it. It's quicker this way. You don't need to fold the fabric again. Just place it on it. Make sure everything is placed correctly. Make sure you place it correctly. And then you cut it out. And then I say, cut it out. Word needs to be on your knee. This point here, this point is the front. This point here is the front. So, this is the knee. So, notch it. What I do is I just take the four piece together, fold it like this, and put a notch. So, I know that is where the knee needs to be. So, I put a notch. I don't know if you can see it. So, guys, this is the um. This is four. This is a four side panel, the front one and the back one. This is the back, the center back. This is the center back. This is the center front, the front one, center front. So what you do is you take the center front and you take one of the side you know the side one the way you know is I didn't notch the front the one that needs to join the middle piece in the front I didn't notch it that was why I notched the knee section so you know that is the knee section and the knee section has more curve because that is the hip it has more curve than the one that is going to join the middle piece so you just take the middle piece this is the middle piece. You take it, take one of the sides together like this, right side to right side, and you sew them. When you get to this point here, make a little curve so you get a nice flesh shape towards the knee here, which is the front here. So make a little curve. Okay, guys, that's the end of this tutorial. I'll sew it and I'll show you how it looks like when I finish sewing it. Thanks for watching guys. I will try and see if I can do um, a sewing where I'm sewing it. I will try and see if I can sew it and show you the video where I'm sewing it. If not, um, you will see me on my next video. Thanks for watching guys. If you like this video, please like, share and subscribe and comment for more videos. Thanks guys. Bye. Okay guys, I'm going to quickly show you how I joined the six pieces skirt. This is the middle of the six pieces skirt, if you remember. This is the middle, so I'm going to show you how I join it quickly. So you're going to take the middle, and then you take one of the side. I got all the four sides here with me. I take one of the side. Remember, I notched the knee section. We are not going to be sewing the knee section to the side. This is the knee section here. That word, the hip piece over here. Rather, you are going to be using this section which I didn't notch. This is the section that is going to join the middle center, the middle front. This one to this one. Okay, I'll do it quickly so you see it. So, right side of fabric to the right side. Side 
right side to right side guys and then you take the ends and you sew one inch depends on how much allowance you had it get this curve so it's just the way the curve is you can see when I get to this curve I'm going to curve it as well I stop and I pause I sew it slowly because I want the shape to come out so, hope you see what I did there and then you just sew it all the way down one panel of the side done now I'm going to add the second side this is just one as you can see this is one so I'm going to have to take another of the side you know the side are four side take another one right side to right side When you get to this curve here again, I bring the camera closer so you can see the curve that I'm talking about. When you get to this curve, you are going to shape it. You are going to form like a semi C. You're going to come like this now. So when you get here, you need to shape, shape it so that the shape of the Six piece will show properly. out and I'll show you properly how it looks like okay guys this is a six pieces skirt this is how it looks when you join the back this is the back half of the back this is half of the back it looks like this when you join this is a, a part a piece of the center back where the zip is going to be and this is the side so when it's sewn this is how it looks like 
then you have to iron it out nicely this is just one panel of the of the back okay so that's the bottom part of it and this is the top part where the elastic is going to be it's not going to have a zip and this is the knee section you can see that we already have the shape you can always take here more in to give the person more fitting shape and here as well so this is the back I'll show you the front how it looks like so this is the front the front I've had it I've joined all the three pieces already to the front I've joined all the three pieces already to the front so this is the middle piece here and this are the side piece this is the side piece okay so that's the bottom so I'm going to sew the skirt finish when I finish sewing the skirt I'll come back and show you how it looks like.